Hey, hi there, you guys, Capricorn. Welcome to your general forecast. Crosswatcher energies are interchangeable, but only take those portions that are resonating with you. And remember to check out your moon and rising and Venus sign videos for a more complete picture. My readings, they do meld together. And I'd really like to thank you guys, Capricorn, for supporting my channel. The likes and the subscribes and the comments and the donations. Thank you so very much. Today you're going to get five cards from the Rider Waite deck and one card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. And now here's your first card. It's the general atmosphere. It's the background and the basis of the matter. This is the overall theme of the reading, Capricorn. Number 13 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. Death. This could be a Scorpio, being ruled by Saturn and Pluto. This could be an ending that's a major event in your life. It's a big change, but then there's renewal. It's a transformation and an ending and a closure. This is a regeneration. It's destruction followed by renewal. It can be the birth of new ideas, new opportunities. It's reflection and discovering what no longer fits in your life. It's a dying away of old habits and old fears, old ways of dealing with the world, old relationships. This experience may seem shattering, but if we welcome change, we find that death leads to new life and new possibilities. This is an opening to something that's more important. A metamorphosis. Now patterns you once found workable are no longer effective. And these old ways must first be destroyed to make room for the new that is coming into being. It is power but with little control. You'll need to accept change or change will be thrust upon you. And if there's pain that's suffered under the effect of death, it's related to the unwillingness of you to the inevitability of the change. It's letting go of someone, creating closure. The time has come for the new. Your second card, and this is the energy that's crossing over your path. These are your subconscious influences, Capricorn. Queen of Swords, Air Energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Now, this can be a person or the energy, oftentimes represents the person's personality. And in this position, there's some restriction, there's a challenge. This is someone that could be interfering, a female energy. Or they may be worrying or even softening up. This is someone that's very serious. And they need to have some fun. This could be someone that has ambivalent emotions. They could be clouding the truth. Or they have fear of claiming the truth. They may be succumbing to worry. It's making allowances in their own ideals and principles. It can be gossip. Someone that's narrow-minded. They could be telling lies. They may have malice. They could be a woman of artifice, artifice, artifice. My tooth makes it so I can't enunciate very well. Sorry, you guys. She could be a prude. She may have some ill will towards you. They could be president, prejudiced, a bit nasty. The death card with the Queen of Swords is putting something into action that will change things. It could be a message that then transformation unfolds. Your third card, this is how it affects you. These are the external influences that you're consciously aware of, Capricorn. Five of Swords, Air Energy. This is Venus in Aquarius. This is a card of adversity. It represents someone with an over-excessive will. They believe this is a rational self-interest, so they're looking out for number one. 
This is a no-win situation, and healing will not come until you cut your losses. This will be a high cost of victory. It would be bitter. So do not judge before you know everything. There are storm clouds and wind. These can be ego-involved issues. Someone felt they were stepped on, so they retaliate, and it would be petty, full of friction and tension and hostility. It can be an unhealthy competition or a betrayal. There can be gossips and personal attacks, sabotage, negative thinking, being lied to. They want to make you look small so they can look bigger. It's slander, unfairness, and cruelty. This can represent a person who is uptight and full of contradictions. They make misunderstandings, so then you have to defend yourself. They're a master controller, and they bring destruction and dishonor and loss. It's a stiff challenge and conflict. All fives are about adjustments and loss. This is a challenge and innovation. It could be an uncomfortable but necessary change brought on by distress. It can be the ending of a relationship. This is a pivotal turning point, even a paradox. These are people who like to provoke a reaction. This can be a bully full of empty promises Constantly complaining, being snappy, they non-stop talk. They're full of baggage and projections. They're an energy vampire. The death card with a five of swords is someone taking advantage. There's big changes or a need to let go of adversities in your life. Here's your fourth card. It's a card of the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice. Capricorn, you've got number one of the Major Arcana, the Magician. This can be a Gemini or a Virgo. This card is ruled by Mercury. This is all of us. The cosmic lemon skate over his head represents possibilities, self-mastery, infinite possibilities. This is a masculine energy card. The speed is fast. It has to do with creative power, intention, will. And something exciting is about to start. It's an important beginning and a need to remain conscious of your thoughts because you can make things happen. The cosmic lemon skate is a symbol of eternal life and domination. It indicates the harmonious interaction of the conscious and the subconscious mind and idea, feeling and desire, and emotion. Like in the law of attraction, as above, so below, as within, so without. This has to do with vision and decision, action and skills, so stay focused on your goals. This is a time for creation and beginning, so taking on challenges and new opportunities. It's a time for action, and there's potential in abundance. So work to achieve your goals. This is practical action and being a master at your craft. It's being confident, focused, inspired, a visionary. You could be initiating change. The death card with the magician card is the end of the manipulation. It's an ending that you try to manifest. It can also represent a skills shortage. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's unseen. It's because it's something that you're not sharing with others. Yet you are consciously aware of this, Capricorn. The two of pentacles. Earth energy. This is Jupiter in Capricorn. And there we have another cosmic lemon skate. This is... The lower echo of the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter in Capricorn, the card of I build, has to do with changes, multitasking, juggling, and it's the ability to juggle two situations at one time and achieve success. It's skillful manipulation, good fortune and enjoyment, and it's harmony in the midst of this change. This can be a message coming, it could be about money. And it's adapting to change with a nimble movement. Better times do lie ahead. And this is dealing with a lot, 
but with ease. It's balancing priorities and the need to be flexible. It's going with the flow by handling the ups and downs of life or friendships, relationships, partnerships. These are uncharted seas and it could be a bumpy ride. It might make you feel unstable. This can be two situations. Going with the ebb and flow and managing your life with grace. It's time management, a balancing act, establishing the pros and cons of a situation, and being resourceful. It's handling things that come in waves. And when your life undergoes change, it's normal to have some insecurity and temporary upsets. So you might be feeling unsure of yourself. But you knew, do need and you do find results. It is casting off old habits. The death card with the two of pentacles. These are both cards of change. So change is imminent. This is a period of growth. But it's also a reminder to do not take on more than you can handle. Someone may have outgrown a career. The queen of swords with the five of swords. This is a mean person or people. They could be gossiping and backstabbing and putting you down behind your back or even to your face. The Queen of Swords of the Magician is showing others that you can manifest your decisions. The Queen of Swords of the Two of Pentacles expecting to put in a little effort for a big payout. It's handling multiple projects, daily sh chores, the Five of Swords with the Magician card. These are both Aquarius cards. This is the ultimate cunning trickster, so be wary of all toxic behavior. This person's tongue is being nasty. They could be coming after you with negative intent. The Five of Swords with the Two of Pentacles is a disruption in the flow. It's a good situation that turned sour. The Magician with the Two of Pentacles is Internet and Communication. Both of these cards have the Cosmic Lemon Skate. This is the drive and the will to create bold change while juggling priorities. Here's your Wisdom of the Oracle card by Colette Baron reed Card number 30, Tick Tock, Capricorn. Card number 30, Tick Tock. Timelessness, divine timing, and immeasurable time. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future is ahead of them. But what if that isn't true at all? What if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order are happening now in a glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire, so release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now and will always show up when you need them, right on time. Thanks, you guys, Capricorn. I hope you stay tuned in and leave me a comment or a thumbs up, and please subscribe. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so I'm sending you guys out love and light and blessings. Thanks for watching.